fastidious, empathetic, inquisitive. Okay, so two products. I use Twitter, I use the NBA app. NBA app for my live scores, updates on the games, anything interesting. And then Twitter, also for trending topics, what's going on, news, stuff like that. Okay, so three things that inspire me. Athletes who play at the highest level, so the kind of work that goes on behind the scenes before they step on the field or the court to do what they do, how they take care of their bodies, the discipline that they have to put into the work that they do, that inspires me. Artists also inspire me, so anybody involved in any form of art, so from music to product making to architecture, interior design, movie making, production, all those things sort of inspire me. How they are able to put their ideas together and then the work that they put in to create something out of nothing, that inspires me. And then the third thing will be entrepreneurs. So of every size, so from the small businesses to the bigger ones in this country, out of this country. I mean, stories like somebody selling pizza chips and then getting bought by PepsiCo for like 250 million. That's not something that you hear about every day, but those kind of things inspire me. Or people like my sisters doing side hustles, um, creating a business out of uh, making fascinators or what do you call it, uh, curating gift boxes, stuff like that inspire me. Or even places like here in Sano, yeah. A day in my life as product lead would be me coming in in the morning and checking my mails, checking my Skype, checking Teams for messages that I may have missed from the previous day. And then I go ahead and then have a meeting with the engineering lead to align on what it is that we did the previous day and what it is that we're supposed to do for to the day and then after that um, we bring in the bigger team uh, we have a meeting and then we align everybody knows what they're supposed to do um, my role makes me sit in between business user experience engineering so usually i'll have a meeting with user experience or business to also pick some inputs from them or get reviews on what we've done if it has to go back to the engineering team, I have to sort of document it, put it into some sort of requirements, and then take it back to them. Um, so it will be meetings like that, touching base with different people in the team to get feedback to inform what the next release is going to be or what the next iteration has to look like. And then after that, usually in the evenings, whatever it is that we planned for the day, I have to review it and make sure that it's been done according to specification and then um, it serves as inputs for the next day. Ideation, so when we are brainstorming, putting together ideas, um, creating concepts, creating new things out of nothing, I like the whole process. And then the research that goes into it, so learning new things, learning how things have been done elsewhere, what we can pick and apply, that's, that's the part I like. In between, so the planning and then the building, not so much. But then when it comes together and then it's being reviewed and we are going through and then we see the fruit of everything that we've put together, I like that aspect as well. I don't think I'm there yet. Uh, I'm still looking forward to it, but I, I, I don't think I'm there yet. Digital Gold. So it's a book that talks about how Bitcoin started, the different people who have been a part of the journey, um, personalities from Beijing to Buenos Aires to the US. Um, what I like about the book is the, the community around Bitcoin. So how people from different places sort of came together for a course and how different people came at different points and contributed different things and people were willing to give off their life's work for this that they believed in. So Satoshi himself being this mysterious figure that nobody knows, creating the blueprint for what will become the decentralization of money, uh, money that is free from government control, and getting people who actually believed in it to dedicate hours of work and research based on his blueprint, making it better, creating different platforms of it. I, I like that whole story. Um, and the characters, the characters in it, some became millionaires, some ended up in jail and all that, but it's an interesting book. 
I would like to travel across Africa. So from the north all the way down to the south, just to learn about the people, their culture, their food, their history, just to know more about them, um, immerse myself in their experiences, yeah. I would say Jesus as in Paul. Jesus telling us not to worry about anything, not to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow, and that today has its own problems, and tomorrow will sort of take care of itself. And then Paul also telling us not to be anxious and to present every need to God in prayer. No, oh, easy. I'll travel the whole world. Go to every place, every country, every continent. Um, so far as I'm allowed to go there, and it's not so dangerous. Um, interact with the people, learn about their culture, learn about history. Um, I will do something in relation to what anthropology, archaeology, history, stuff like that. The title of the book will be Everyday People, documenting human stories, just like the way the humans of New York people do it. Yeah. Twitter, WhatsApp, Apple Music. Uh, so WhatsApp, communication. Twitter, I already said it's my favorite app. Apple Music, music, I like music. But I could have alternatives. So I think I could have Spotify, I could have YouTube and others. So I think, yeah, Apple Music will go. What's up? I don't like the alternatives. Um, what is it? Telegram? I don't like it. Well, I've not used it, so I don't know. But Apple Music will go. Peace of mind. As simple as that. And Sano, it's the people. Um, the people that I get to come to work with every day. Um, yeah, we keep saying this, young people, vibrant people. But I see the amount of work that they put into the things that they do, and that inspires me. So that's what I love about working with Insano. Young people taking on challenges head on, and then most of the time conquering them. <laughs>